Hello guys, my name is Kizza and today we're going to be reacting to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Destined for Rebirth trailer. Uh, Square Enix just kind of dropped this one out of nowhere. I was sitting in work and just was scrolling during lunch and there were just new videos, new screenshots and everything. I'm like, there was no even, there was not even a warning for this. They just were just thinking, ah, it's a random Monday, let's just decide. Boom, trailer. Although the trailer doesn't show too much from what I've been told, there's a couple of new bits here and there. It's still a new trailer. Like a game we're super, it's like the one most anticipated game of the year. Like they can't just be dropping stuff now. We're like, well, don't do that. We need a bit of warning here when there's going to be a trailer release. Anyway, we're going to get straight into it. I'm super excited to watch it. I know it's very, very short, but Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, and I want to watch. Oh, there's our man. It's like he's, is this his Nibelheim? place yeah that's just his most iconic like scene now from what i've learned anyway what happened to this place it was so our boy zach it can't be Genova. he wants to finish what he started you see the hand there over the planet you coming mm -hmm. hey your feet we have to help them. i love the synergy stuff I'm so excited to see all the combinations. Let's get to work. Ooh. You are truly a model soldier. Hmm. We can handle this. That was some scream. I will reclaim our world. Oh my god. Exciting stuff. Oh, I just hit the button there. I'm so excited. Yeah, it was very, very short. Very, very short. So yeah, we'll just have a wee, a little scan of what's here because I've noticed in my last reaction videos, I haven't really like looked at the trailers properly. I end up watching them again when I've finished the video just to have a look at things. I might like, I should just look at them through the video. But, um, yeah, it just seems like it's the usual with the Sephiroth stuff. Sephiroth. Yeah, it's his iconic Nibelheim scene that we're getting here again. It is so iconic. We've seen it with like the new, it was the Game Informer cover got it as well. And like any game, whenever you see Sephiroth show up, it's this, this part. Even though if you played Crisis Core, it makes no sense. Kind of makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. If you played Crisis Core, you'll understand. But yep, it's the most iconic scene. And then we've got the disaster, which we've seen from the other trailer, which was the one that had like Tifa and Aerith and um, like basically the whole of Avalanche was from, I assume they were knocked out or they're unconscious but uh from what i've been reading supposedly they're dead so i'm like right we'll wait and see i don't know because i haven't i haven't played the original as most folk know so it'll be quite interesting to see what's happened here if we go on what happened to this place? it's the same zach scene again of him carrying cloud back to midgar I see back to midgar carrying him to midgar even though again if you played crisis core it makes no sense so i remember when i started playing the games my friends were just like none of this makes sense anymore like what's happening what you've just seen on the screen doesn't make any sense so i'm like right, okay and now i understand i am now part of this confusion and i'm excited for it but at the same time i'm just like we need more answers and then if we scroll on it was sephiroth so this part here from what we see am i yeah so from what i remember what we've seen in remake that's Genova that's holding his face, I'm assuming. Kind of like caressing his, his, his side of his face. Which would make sense. And maybe he's holding her hand or something. Because that seems to be the whole premise of this right now. Is him finding his mother, Genova. It can't be. Mm -hmm. He wants to finish what he started. So this part I've seen the screenshots of in the small video. And I think Cloud's at the front. I, again, I have not played the original. So I don't know what's happening here. But a lot of people that have played the original obviously know what this bit is. But yeah, I remember this is like the kind of Cloud is leading this army. And I'm assuming he's undercover. And rule over the planet. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. I did not mean to pause there. So from what I noticed here, you've got the whispers again. Um, from my understanding or what from my playthrough anyway of not playing the original was that we destroyed them which is like the whole premise of the remake is because those are meant to keep things in balance and keep destiny on its course but because we killed them or we destroyed them now destiny can just kind of go wherever it wants but they still seem to be here i can only assume maybe sephiroth controls them now rather than them just being part of the world it's like they're they're him like he controls these things now but again you have a lot of will to wait you coming and then we get yuffie again and then all this stuff with all the synergy things and what we've got we get synergy with everyone i think everyone has a combined move with each other because we've seen yuffie and barrett we've seen cloud and tifa we've seen cloud and earth i'm sure we've seen earth and tifa as well and then we can do ones with red 13 too which is quite exciting to help them. let's get to work so yeah there's not too much you are 
that enemy looks crazy at first i thought that was at first it was a leviathan but then i think we see that later on but it looks sick regardless i don't know what is going on here it's just like a firefish or a dragon of some sort you are truly a right that bit here because he says you are truly a marvelous soldier and from what i remember a crisis core when you speak to him as zach he kind of says something similar about being a soldier and i don't know if that if he's still talking to zach in this scene but if he's talking to a soldier we don't know it could be anyone it could be the it could be that like the passed out alternative cloud again we have 40 odd days till this happens and it's just there's just questions after questions after questions Model soldier. this bit is interesting like, that scream is like is she going to die but from what we've seen of the other trailer this big thing we've seen her floating in this i'm sure when we've seen her in the water in the green she's been eaten by this giant man fish because it looks like it's got biceps i don't know what's going on here but there's definitely something that she she must get in she must yeah, that's where she goes we can handle this i will reclaim our world mm. and then yeah just not too much and then you're iconic cloud jumping towards sephiroth that we've seen countless times that maybe one day we will see him land that blow but yeah the trailer was excellent i really really enjoyed it for it being as short as it was my only worry is you get it with most games that they maybe start showing too much but you're like that at the same time you want to see more just because you're that excited for the game regardless it wasn't too like there's a few new things there in the new the new bit at the end like this scene the bit with cloud shouting and things like that was all new but i'm like if we still get like another trailer like the the launch trailer like the big trailer i don't know if you guys know let me know but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like please leave a comment let me know if you're really excited for rebirth because i am and cannot wait i have plans for streams with it which i will say later on in the future and if you want to keep up to date with that i'll put it all on my discord which is the link in the description i will see you guys in the next video see you later